Luther once said, next to the word of God, music deserves the highest praise. But any who remain unaffected by music are clodhoppers indeed and are fit to hear only the words of dung poets and the music of pigs. Never one to mince words, Luther's point is well taken. The Reformation was literally sung into the hearts of the people of God, and the parish musician has been the one who has led that song for a very long time, a very important partner with the pastor in the work of the ministry. When I came to Resurrection, now 42 years ago, we had an electronic organ that had seen better days, and an organist in Leah Rapp with a big heart, but not a lot of training. Leah told me that her health and her nerves were bothering her. So I advertised and advertised and advertised. I looked and I looked, found nobody to replace her on the organ bench. Years passed, and I literally gave up looking. And then Pam Slater walked through the door. She said that I had told her, I believe at her brother's wedding, that if she was ever looking for a job to come and see me. While I cannot recall ever saying that, it turns out to be one of the smartest things that ever came out of my mouth. Music and worship go together by God's design, and it works best when the preacher on the organ bench and the preacher in the pulpit are playing the same song. Pam was that kind of partner to me, almost instinctively knowing what I was thinking when it came to worship in the church. She did not stay on the bench, but built a choir, a youth choir, instrumental ensembles. She moved us to finally we replaced that ailing organ with something better able to support congregational song. Pam, I remain always in your debt. Your biggest fan and ever grateful for God sending you to Resurrection Lutheran Church. Although it's been 30 years since I left, the story of what Pam has been able to accomplish has been told far and wide as a testament to what can be done when there are people who want to do it. I cannot believe that Pam is even close enough in age to retire and I'm still going strong here in Tennessee. But if there is one who deserves a well done and a good and faithful servant commendation, then that is Pam. So Pam, our best wishes and our prayers for some rest for you and some accolades for all the work you've done. Your wonderful service has touched more lives than you could ever know both for the good of the congregation there and for the faith of those whose lives intersected your own. Your commitment, your drive to succeed, your many gifts, your dedication, these have been some of your many strengths and blessings, enjoyed by the good people of resurrection and by the pastors with whom you have served over these years. Now, it's always true that nobody is indispensable to the Lord, but I'm just glad it will not be my job to try and find someone to fill your shoes. Today, Amy joins me in expressing our deepest affection and appreciation for your service to God while we were there, for your service to resurrection since, and most of all, for your friendship. These words go also to the other half of the Slater duo, to you, Unc, as well. God bless you and God be with you. And God give you a healthy life and a contented heart with which to enjoy the life that God has given you. Although we could not be there with you today as the congregation celebrates your time of service, we wanted you to know how deeply you have touched our own lives. Thank you, Pastor Nelson, for the opportunity to be a small part of this big event. We love you, Pam. God be with you and Unc and with all the good people of God at Resurrection Lutheran Church who are honoring your service today. Thank you. God bless, my friend.